So I'll just pin up along that crease. I'll be aligning the zipper teeth to the crease. Like if you don't have this at this point, let me know if there's any part that's proved kind of a bit difficult. Let me know. Welcome to cutting and sewing the pencil skirt pattern. So we have um, our patterns already created. Please watch this video to see how these blocks we are created, the different variations on this pattern. We have both the front and the back ready for us to use. Um, this is the Ankara print we're going to be using. So I have folded it into two. When you're folding, make sure that right side faces the right side. Now you can go ahead to place your pattern on this fabric to cut out pattern. I am going to fold this pencil because I'm going to do a pencil sketch. I want to make a pencil sketch. So okay, remember that this center front line should be on fold. That's what we have here on fold. Also, I'm going to be putting um, hem allowance at the bottom. I'll put that on the fabric. I will use um, two inches. I'm going to extend the length of my pattern two inches. I'll make this straight because that's the hem allowance. At the top, we are going to put a sewing allowance of half an inch. This will help us connect the waistband to the skirt. So I will just cut this out, mark this dart out, and poke it through so I know where the dart is. Because I'm going to be doing an enclosed finish for this skirt pattern, I'm going to make my lining one inch shorter than this actual pattern length. Why is it one inch shorter? Remember that by the time we sew it, we want this two inches to come up. However, we're going to be sewing half inch here, and then the lining too will be sewing half inch. So it's just like a rule of thumb that you need the lining to be shorter by one inch, okay? Don't worry, you understand when we get there. Let's keep this and quickly do the back. For the back, there's going to be a skirt vent. We're going to be putting a vent right there at the back. So I'll show you how to go about that. I'm going to fold this part that shouldn't be there for the pencil skirt block inside. I'm going to fold it out of the way. We are going to put a skirt vent at the back right here. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me pin this first. Depends on how high you want the skirt vent to be. So I'm going to be starting this vent from 22 inches. So just about here. Just about this point is where this vent will begin here. Now from this point, what we're going to do is the zip here remains the same we're going to cut off this zipper this um extra fabric here however from here we are going to draw a diagonal this way like just draw a slanted line this way your vent should be about i have about two and a half inches wide that's what i have here that's what we're going to use for the vent Two and a half inches wide. Let me see. Two and a half inches wide. Yes, two and a half inches wide. That's what I'm going to use as the size of my vent. Okay? So remember, vent starts from 22 inches. 
from the waistline draw a diagonal that diagonal should connect to about one and a half inch below that 22 inches line so just about here and that's it then you make sure that it continues to be two and a half inches wide let me measure and mark it properly two and a half inches two and a half inches two and a half inches wide so Okay, so here is what we have for the pencil sketch block at the back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead to also cut my lining. The lining will be one inch shorter than this pattern, not than the fabric, than this pattern. So let's cut our lining quickly. All right, so all patterns cut with the lining. Here is the band. Okay. So both um, parts of the band have been ironed with the interfacing. And then this is the skirt. Piece of fabric with the lining. You can see that the lining is shorter than the actual fabric, such that by the time we sew this half inch, half inch, it will then reduce further okay so we have this and then this is the front as well so i have gone ahead to mark out the that if you look closely you see the dart lines i use the pencil to draw the dart lines so that i'll be able to sew it precisely you need to sew with precision precision <laughs> so we're going to be starting with all the darts sewing the darts for the lining pieces and the fabric pieces all the darts when you're going to be sewing up your darts the only place you're allowed to backstitch is at the beginning of the dart sewing at the top but once you start going and slanting and narrowing it to finish you do not backstitch you leave the threads hanging loose and tie a knot at those points okay all that have been sewn neatly lining and main fabric inclusive so we are moving on to fixing in the zipper i need to come here so to explain properly to you um here is the back so here is it here can you see it folded that zipper allowance that one inch ruler zipper allowance that we had this is it here ironed crisp okay and this is the one at the bottom so remember this is the pattern we use so let me just place this on it so that you understand what i'm saying so this is it here the zipper allowance have been ironed for both the left hand side and the right hand side see it here see the other one here has also been ironed now for us to fix in the zipper properly what we're going to do first of all is to sew up you're going to sew this part up so wherever the zipper gets to from the top to wherever the zipper stops i'll just do because this my zipper is for purposely for a skirt zip it's about nine inches long is it nine or seven inches well it's for a skirt zip so it's going to be at the top there 
Now I'm going to stack my seam, just joining along that center back. I'm going to start it about half an inch above this um, metal here. I'll start it above here. So that's where I'm going to stitch the fabric from. So from here, from this point here, I'm going to stitch all the way and stop at that vent. So where this vent begins, where this vent begins, that's where I'll stop. Okay. So iron it, um, sew it up. We're even supposed to iron in, um, interfacing to this hair stay or something to this part. But let's go ahead. I will sew from this point right up to this vent and stop there. So we have gone ahead to sew up the um, bottom part, leaving this vent open. Leave that vent open first. We'll still close it up. And here we have the zip that will be installed. So this is the zipper we're going to use. Let me show you how to do it. Let the wrong side of the Ankara face. This is the wrong side facing me. Now take this zip here, right? This wrong side, this right side. Let it be facing this way. Okay. Such that the wrong side of everything is looking at you. Wrong side of the zip looking at you. Wrong side of the fabric. That's the zipper allowance looking at you. Unzip. Once you unzip, still place it back there and start lifting up the zip along that zipper allowance to pin up. So I'll just pin up along that crease. I'll be aligning the zipper teeth to the crease. Okay, that way. Zipper teeth should be aligned to the crease. And you pin to the end. This way, so you can do it this way and go on. So, starting from the top on the other side, open it up such that this crease is looking at you and start pinning from that top. very good so this is what we'll be having right here at the back here this is all you have and then on the front this is what you have so once we zip it up let's zip up you see you would have sewn it it will enclose the zip and look this good so let's go and install the zipper and then we move on to the vent area
okay zipper beautifully installed you can see how it zips up and down okay nothing is showing on the front you're not sewing on this you're just sewing this part so if you look closely here is the um thread and here sewn on the zip cloth right so here is the back beautifully installed moving over to the vents okay so now that we've sewn this up onto this point um i want us to put this vent together this way so here is the sewing line let me draw that's where my thread is right about now if you look closely you see my thread it's because it's the exact color of this you can see my thread there so once you get to this point right before this slanting occurs we're going to sew from there half inch to this point okay so where you stopped i stopped my sewing there my stitch there i'm going to sew it like measuring half an inch here and sewing it into the vent so i want to complete the sewing here then i'll come back to show you what next so you can see now you look at it you see that it's been sewn see that part it's been sewn so this is what you have in the front this way can you see that in this one like this that's the upper area that way and then when you go to the vent it's already attached along that slant that way okay so you want to i'm going to let this be this way okay so you want to iron this now such that this is this way here is the lining we're working with you're going to be putting it right side facing right side. this is the right side of the lining this is the wrong side so the wrong side should be looking at you while the right side is on the fabric okay so i'm putting it this way because this is the vent area you should match up the vent area that way and the second side put it this way such that the vent this center back this is the center back for the lining piece now how do you know what vent is for what part if you look at this closely this and this like spreading it out here you can see that this vent is for this one and this one will be the folded vent right how do we even make that folded vent to make the folded vent all we'll do is fold this vent of the lining as well we have to fold it this way how did i fold it that one inch plus the two and a half inches so this wide should be about three and a half inches this way we are going to chop it off we're going to chop off this part right because this part is the one that is folded in hence why we are chopping it i want to also measure and see that um what i folded you see what i folded is equal to each other so i'll move this out of the way this is what i'm having and that's what we'll chop off i'll first use a pin to hold it together so i'll hold this vent so it'll be easy for me to chop it off now how do i chop off this is the part i'm chopping off you see here where the vent gets to right up onto here from here that straight line where the vent gets to and then it's not going to go to this very top here no it's going to fall like half inch because you need like um the sewing allowance so i'll just chop it off that way this way measure half inch from the top here and chop off so 
So once you get to that half inch mark, tilt and chop off that way. Okay, so I can just cut off this part here. This part, this dangling part. This one, we do not need it anymore. So that's how you do your skirt vent um, pattern. That's what you do. So before we attach the vent to the skirt, before we attach it, we need to sew up this part. You know, from here, from where the zipper stops to where the vent starts, from here to here, you need to sew that same part up on the lining. Okay, so how do we do that? Face the lining, right side on right side. Okay, right side of the lining on right side of the right side of a left lining on right side of a right lining I'm going to check where the zip stops that's where it gets to from here to just about here so that's where I'm going to be stopping my zip where I'm going to start, where I'm going to stop. So let me go and sew my one inch close and we get back here. All right, so here is the vent properly ironed up in place. You can see that this part is folded. This one is not, it's open, spread open wide. And then this part has been notched. You know, the vent continued that, this way. So you just notch it to free it up a bit. Now, this is the lining piece. We have gone ahead to sew up this part you can see it's opened up this is the zipper allowance right here at the top and this is the vent extension here at the bottom so i'm going to place it this way that's um the wrong side on the wrong side because this is the wrong side facing me i'm placing it this way i'm matching it up in that um zipper allowance area okay you have it this way right and then this one is spread out wide this one opens up wide this one is cut how do you start finishing up this how do you go about it you're going to take this part here mm -hmm. this part should be sewn to the hem here okay so that means if you're going to be doing that you want to be doing it this way to sew it up to the hem like this right you want to look at look at what i did again let me show you again so this one is the one spread out wide this one is the one cut into half because that half part will join this full part that is folded in right okay Take the hem of your lining, the hem of your fabric. You know you can't just sew it like this. You need to let the stitch be inside the garment. So to make that happen, you just do this way. Kiss both right side together. And then I'll pin from the bottom. Good. So once that is sewn up, the stitch is now inside the garment. It's not you're not seeing the stitch anymore, right? So once you have attached it to the bottom, this is what you'll be having at the bottom. So let me show you how to do that again on the other side. This is what you are having. Take this, right? That's the hem here and here. Kiss the right sides together. Start from the extreme end and sew to wherever this stops.
So for this one, you won't sew it completely. We need about half inch exposed so that when we want to join it to this side, it's easy to do so. So, yeah. Because this one will be inside this way. All right, here we have it. Can you see the joining? This is how crisp the bottom of the skirt should be. If you want it more crisp, you can use hemming gum there to be like cham cham. This is perfect. So what we now do next hmm, is this part. We need to join this one that is hanging loose to this part here. How do we do that? It's just like how we kissed the right side. You're kissing this right side to this right side, right? But the way you can kiss this place is putting your hand through the side seam and um, bringing it out from the side seam to kiss it up, right? With enclosed sewing technique, you need to, you have to think about the result before um, figuring out what to do. Okay, there's no written text per se to how to go about it. You just have to visualize and be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now moving on to the other side of the vent, on the side we chopped off the lining from. So I'm trying to place it together to see how um, it matches up. What we're going to be doing here is taking that part where we have the Ankara, take note of where that two inch hem, that place we folded, yes, that place I'm holding, take note of that part, you want to notch where it meets up with the main fabric. And then this particular corner that folds, you want to also take note of that part because we want to sew that corner first of all. So I'm taking my chalk now, I'm going to mark that point, that specific point. So what I'll do is I'll just, um, yeah, so that's all I want to sew there. Just fold it this way, matching up the part we snipped earlier, okay, to that corner. You want that corner precision in the sewing, okay? So just pin that particular corner, make sure it's that corner check for where the chalk mark is and make sure you get that exact point once you've done that you match up the part that we snipped so we're going to draw so a slanted line there sorry my microphone died while i was filming this video that's why i'm doing the voiceover now if there's a change in the audio please bear with me so that's what we're saying so this part has been sewn this way you can see it you can see that part so i'll just move it inside this way this is what we'll have now right you are going to iron it to stay put once it's ironed and stayed put stays put this is what you now have here right this is what you have here so from this point now you are now going to sew to this point here. And remember what I said about enclosing it. Make sure you pick it from here. Okay, pick it from here. While doing so. So it starts from where that um, notch is. You're sewing from, remember that you didn't sew it all the way. I have like this much opened up. Let me explain what I mean. Remember that when we were joining this part of the vent, this part of the lining along that hem, we didn't sew it all the way. We left about half an inch. That's the half inch that you're going to be matching up to this point here. Because if you look at it closely, 
the meat soup see the meat soup right so that's the two points that you are grabbing together and sewing as one piece and you're also going to use half an inch to join it here from here to this point here so let's pin it as well yep this is what is going to be don't forget to iron it properly right make sure it stays well all right let's sew and then we iron to relax okay so here is what we are having after sewing this part and this part see how that part will be okay you can just use a needle and thread and finish it neatly at that area put a hemming gone so that it seals up together however you decide now you will see that the last place left um concerning this vent will be this area that is left unfinished that's the only part left and like the rule of enclosed seam finishing you need to sew it from the inside so you're going to be catching let's remove this now you're going to be catching this this and this two parts here you're going to catch those four parts together so we have all of this as one piece that will be sewn together right so you can pin up if you have sewn it well everything will relax and continue as one straight stitch okay once you pin up and sew this is how the front will be i'll go back to properly finish that place so it doesn't loosen up that's this um this is already unraveling i need to go and back stitch properly there for the front part this part we have you know all this while we've been at the back for the front part we've already sewn up the dots here for the skirt this is the front side that you can see this is the front side we're looking at so we'll take the lining we've sewn up the dots too as well We'll match front side to front side. And along the hem, we want to sew it with a straight stitch, half an inch. So we want to sew it along the hem. Yes, it will not balance up at the top. Remember, we cut the lining shorter than the main skirt. Okay, so here you should have this. Like, if you don't have this, at this point let me know if there's any part that's proved kind of a bit difficult let me know um yeah this is what we are having now at the back right opening closing um this is how it is the zip 
in here is already like secured secured so i'm just showing you so that at least you'll be able to figure out if you are doing the right thing or not great now to joining the seams the side seams for the front and back okay we are going to place the back right sides facing you and then take the front this is the front piece this is the only part i told you that will be attached along the hem that way right so if you look at it this and this are equal like it's the same spacing okay so what we'll do is place the front right side of the front on right side of the back and you want to match up from the side seam here so from this part here from here we're going to show our one inch sewing allowance so 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 till when you get here right you should even notch the points where they should meet here so once you've sewn one inch all the way and you get here right you can then do your fabric this way and then continue put the lining together this way so that you just one long stitch you so from here you so once you get here you continue you continue this way and you start matching up the lining with the front lining and the back lining and you sew till you get back to the top so that by the time you're done and you put it back together the seams are enclosed so let's go to the sewing machine i'll show you how i'm going to do it on the sewing machine so we'll start sewing moving away the lining till we get to where we notched right there at the bottom okay sewing allowance one inch do not forget that let's begin So we'll start sewing the lining now. First one properly done. So here we have that part. Okay. This is how it continues as one seam to the top. Wonderful. So once you're done with this, all you need to do now is to iron properly and then plan the band. We're going to iron this up neatly, nicely. Then we go on to inserting the band.